What's up everyone, it's your boy Shocky here coming to you with another episode of A Twisted Path to Renown. Today we're going to be talking about one of the better places to get a lot of different money items, especially now that there is a new barter system. Check out Annie's Village. Annie's Village is going to be really good for a lot of different stuff. If you're looking for money items, definitely go to the village. The AI there are not that hard, and especially with the strategy that I'll be showing you guys. So let's check it out. So one major component of Annie's Village is that there are wolves that roam the northern riverside. I would be extremely careful this is the side that I generally like to take Annie's from though. There is one reason for that and that's that second story building that you can see protruding out in the front here. This guy is going to be your go-to. I always sneak in there. I don't even engage any of the AI yet. I try to get in there before the aggro. Usually I will incur some aggro as I'm running in there but that second story building is going to be your safe haven. It's very rare that the AI chase you up there and if they do you've got a very good cordoned off area that you can actually use to blast them as they come up those stairs. Oh. Found trouble! Nice dodge to every aggro. <laughs> Let's try and get this sheriff. You're, you're crouching a bush, my bad. I think I shot you. Great job. Yeah. My bad, bro. You did not look like that last raid. I'm dead. No. And this is why you go into this building, because you die. Oh, bro. <laughs> this is a great clip. For whatever reason, the AI like to bunch in certain areas when you're in this building. You've got the crane where they stand up on the platform, as well as they kind of hide in the roads. There's a lot of good spots where you can get some serious cover and shoot the AI from a distance and take them out pretty efficiently and easily. And sometimes you got them running up the stairs when you don't have anybody covering your back, and they, for whatever reason, will just take a shot and run back down. It's very strange, but for some reason, this second floor really has some good cover, and the pathing for the AI doesn't seem to work out super well for them. Building and then he left? Okay. I'm riding Now when you do square off against Annie, you will notice that she's going to be wearing a dress and a hat, so she's pretty obvious. When you do drop her, she's going to usually have a sheriff star on her, as well as the key to the village, so you can get into some of those locked rooms and get all that good loot out. Alright, now that the coast is clear, we're going to go check Annie's body, see if we can get ourselves that Sheriff Star, and obviously the village key, and get in there and get some stuff and get out. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to find the Sheriff Star this time, but it is a good money item. It isn't used in any of the barters. It's kind of fun to have that in your breast pocket if you're running around pretending to be a sheriff yourself, but generally I like to sell those just so that I have the money, and if you need it, you got it. Now, with Annie's village, we've got three different doors to unlock. You can use different sides of each building, but I would generally try try to stay away from the center of the buildings where that road meets through the middle of the village. I would say that it's probably best to use the back sides and shut the door behind you because you just never know who's watching from the bushes, especially closer to the swamp and actually maybe even to the river as well, but less likely because there are those wolves there. So let's get to looting and see what we can find. We've got a lot of different stuff, a couple of medium sized heels on the shelves as well as some food. And these cabinets are usually gonna have some good money items, especially inside of these side tables and the other cabinet is probably going to give you some bigger bags definitely check the luggage underneath the bed don't forget to check that one and this is just one of the three rooms that you'll be able to hit the dresser is going to give you probably a mid-tier bag definitely check the weight on some of those because they can be a bit of a hindrance but always use the same door that you open to get out because you don't want to lose the percentage on the key that you've got there's going to be a two for one this is kind of a side room in the same building so definitely check those two building rooms but don't overuse the key otherwise you will lose it there's 
table is going to give you a bunch of machinery items, generally mid-tier stuff, so swagging press, maybe an old vice, and always check the shells for the little small things here, because lead tin bullets are very hard to see, but they're definitely one of the better things to grab, because it's so hard to craft that stuff. All right, so we finished up hitting this building. We're going to be using the same door to get out again, and I would just generally shut it behind me, just so that people don't know which door has been hit, and that there's people that have already been here, and cross the street, make sure to look both sides before you cross, just in case there's a cart coming and you make yourself across here, hit this box. There's always going to be some good craftable stuff in here and sometimes money items. And again, go inside the building, shut the door behind you and you've got yourself a couple of other things. There's this box that's sneakily put up above, make some room for some good stuff here, ponder a little bit on the glue, and then you've got a couple more things that are going to be in this area. Generally, Annie's is going to be low to mid-tier stuff, but I always like to look around just in case there's stuff that's been put in places that you don't normally check. Once we get done in the kitchen area, definitely check out some of the food on the tables. That's going to be good for crafting some good stuff later on and just making sure you're very diligent in checking all these boxes. You got another dresser that might give you something that's worthwhile, as well as the, some money items in the side tables, as well as underneath the bed itself. I always like to carry cigars, so try and get a stock pile going if you do find them. I do think that they're pretty worthwhile, but generally some of the items that you're going to find are going to be ones that you can buy from the traders. So be sure to know what the traders are selling and not grabbing stuff that you don't actually need. If you do get a bit thirsty, don't forget about the water kettle on the actual well outside by the main road and a couple of the bags in the middle of the road here, as well as there's a couple of buildings in Annie's that you can jump up onto the roof. So if you do have to do something drastic, you have to protect yourself. You can always find out that there's a really sneaky spot where you can jump up from a different side of a building. If somebody's trying to attack you. They aren't going to expect you to be on top of their roof. So definitely make sure you explore a little bit of that because pretty much every single building here you're able to jump up on. Don't forget to check the latrines. There's two different toilets in Annie's for you to check for different money items as well as just money in general. So that'll be good to always look. And after that, you're pretty much done. I did point out that there were fish in this video, but I think that might be an old version of the game. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely check out the second floor strat. It's one of my favorite things to do for Annie's Village. It's very efficient and it's really good to protect yourself against other players that are in the area. If you do have people that third party you, it's very difficult to push you from down below without being alerted as they're approaching. So all right guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and comment in the section below to hit that sweet, sweet algorithm juice. And we'll catch you again real soon. Ciao for now.